Christina. I know it may look a bit different if you're used to me in the other videos from Kit Guru, but I can guarantee you it is still me. I'm excited because I'm reviewing something really cool today. The Razer Kishi for Android, $99.99 on the Razer website. And I'm really excited about this because I'm a massive gamer. And to be honest, I never really got into phone gaming as I have a beastie PC just behind me here. And I've got a few consoles too, but this controller means that gaming can be more immersive and hopefully bring mobile gaming up to my expectations. Okay, okay, slow down. I'm gonna need you to sub and ring that bell. Otherwise, we can't keep providing you with awesome unbiased reviews. So yeah, pretty important. Also, if you have a couple of coins in your breeches, check out our merchandise. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. So diving into this little gadget now, packaging wise, it's pretty basic box in here. And inside we have what looks like a squash Nintendo Switch. The manual and not one, but two stickers. And you know that you're spoiling me, Razor, because I love my stickers. Anyway, <laughs> if we remove this sticker on the front and turn it over, you can see that there's a little latch on the back with instructions explaining how to use it. This is pretty cool as it means you can keep the unit small for traveling. And it's also nice that it's one unit. So you won't be losing like half over here and half over there or dropping part of it on the floor. I didn't read the manual, I just stuck my phone in and got on with it. So <laughs> it was really, really intuitive. And to be honest, it was quite easy to do. Underneath there is a pass through charge port that says charging only. I'm a little disappointed as I was expecting to perhaps maybe use that for headphones as well. But I suppose you could just go wireless. I'll let you decide if that's a pro or a con. Razer do recommend their Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds though with this one. So if you guys have got those, let us know down down in the comments how you think they pair. Also, I can see there are holes in the bottom end of the device here to let out the sound, but my device has speakers on both ends of the device to give this stereo sort of sound. It will be interesting to see what it sounds like whilst I'm gaming. Anyway, so looks wise, it looks great. I mean, nothing to rave about, but the black finish is neat and tidy. The buttons and sticks look good quality. It genuinely makes your phone look like a proper handheld gaming device. And I'm pretty impressed so far, I must admit. The buttons are really nice, sturdy, good feedback. And that also goes for the sticks. This doesn't feel like one of those knockoff controllers you get but it actually feels like what you'd expect an official Xbox, Switch or PlayStation controller to feel like. The device itself is super light and when you put your phone in, it isn't heavy at all, but it also feels substantial enough in the hand to not feel flimsy or cheap. It works straight away on my phone desktop too when I pop the key sheet and my phone together. I could use the analog sticks and the A button to select things on my phone desktop. So yeah, it's working, or so I thought. So I jumped into Call of Duty and it didn't work with that game. I downloaded the companion app, went to the firmware update, a little bit of a fiddle here as you have to disconnect the device from your phone and hold the X and the Y and the right function key whilst loading your phone back into the Kishi. This was obviously a two person job, unless you're kind of Mr. Tickle from the Mr. Men. I tried Call of Duty again and it turns out it isn't one of the games that's compatible. I even tried adding the game manually, but it wouldn't even pick the game up on my device. I manually added worm io and that didn't work either it did say in the notifications that manually added games may not work correctly so you know I'm yet to see one that actually does work. I also restarted my device to see if it was an IT issue of some sort but no my selected games did not work Okay, okay. So before we get all judgy, I took a different approach to this mentally. And if you think about it like a Switch Lite, it's around 200 pounds for one of those. That's double the price of a Kishi. Also, you can only play Switch games on a Switch, right? So if we look at the Kishi in this way, it's kind of an upgrade to an already capable phone. 100 quid isn't too bad. I'll let you decide. Plus most of the games are free too on the Play Store. When I went to the Kishi Companion app, there is to be found some pretty awesome games that are compatible and again for free. So you've got Ark, Batman, even Goat Simulator, one of my favourites. I went for Asphalt 8 though to start with. Also you can download the app for free before you even buy the Kishi itself so this should A reassure you that there are loads of games to choose from and help you make that decision before you've even purchased it. Of course if you need to buy a new phone to run games well of course the cost of a new phone and the Kishi may end up being just as much for a 
portable gaming console, so I suppose it depends if you've got a good phone already or not. Anyway, I installed Asphalt 8 and it worked. Now I'm having fun and I can confirm that the experience was great. Literally went from phone gaming to console gaming in a blink of an eye. The responsiveness of the buttons and the sticks were on point. There's no drift on the sticks at least, no sticky buttons, anything like that. The button configuration makes sense too. Right trigger was to accelerate, left was to brake and A was to select, spot on. Without any recalibration or setting diving, in, so that's pretty cool. Driving games get a big thumbs up from me so far. I still had an urge to shoot something though, so I downloaded Modern Combat 5. I'd never heard about this game before, I just thought I'd take a go at it. The controls instantly made sense. Click left stick in to crouch, left trigger to aim, and right to shoot, etc. I was not disappointed. This is definitely a great present to the younger generation who perhaps don't have enough money to buy a Switch Lite, for instance, and it's almost converted me to enjoy phone gaming almost. I would definitely use this on my lunch break though, at work or on the train or on a plane journey for example. A couple of points to add, I like the design because it helps hot and sweaty hands making your phone all dirty and, and it prevents that heat dissipation from your hands to your phone so it is good for that too. Also, the sound was great. As we mentioned earlier, there was only one great there. My phone has two speakers, but it didn't matter about that. It was absolutely fine. There was no rattling or muffling at all, so it was fine. Additionally, the fact that my phone is 165 millimeters and the company state that the peak dimensions for compatibility in height is 145.3 millimeters to 163.7 millimeters. I'm surprised that it worked, to be honest, and I told you I didn't read that manual. <laughs> pretty much fine apart from that really small wobble on the top which again is probably due to the size of my phone. You can find out more about compatibility on the kitguru.net website so make sure you check that one out. Let's run over some key features. Unlike wireless Bluetooth controllers, which introduce some input lag, Kishi has virtually zero latency because it connects directly to the device's charging port, which means instant button response. For extended gaming sessions, there's also an external USB-C port for pass-through, as mentioned earlier, but just for charging. There's two clickable analog thumbsticks, one eight-way D-pad, four face buttons, two triggers L2 and R2, two bumpers L1 and R1, three function buttons, and smartphone charging pass-through via the USB Type-C port, as we said. And just to clarify, this doesn't run on its own kind of batteries, it runs from your phone battery. So you don't need any spare batteries or anything like that, um, and obviously that's why they've included this part through I think. So I know that's a lot of information but let's go over some pros and cons just to recap. So it's a small package to carry around and it's all one unit which is great for travel. It's easy to set up, great controls, looks really nice and the textures on the device are nice too. Great button feedback, great range of good quality and free games to choose from. I know we had a bit of a hiccup there with the ones we wanted to add but hey you can't have everything for just £100. No sweaty hot hands messing up your phone and making it hotter whilst you're gaming and there is a huge gaming collection as mentioned earlier. Cons, no headphone port which I was a bit disappointed about. Speaker holes in one end would have been nice to see them in both but it didn't affect anything so meh. Doesn't work with certain games as mentioned earlier and it doesn't work with all phone types. Again check out kitguru.net to look at all of the compatibility there. Conclusion, okay now we looked at this a little differently and I think it makes much more sense now. You do get a lot for your money in that fact and you can get lots of games for free. The Kishi enhances your gameplay on your phone tenfold there's no questions about that. However, this is only as good as the phone you're running. As mentioned earlier, this could mean additional costs for you with a new phone and the Kishi combined. It might just be cheaper to actually buy a portable games console. So if you have a phone capable of running games, this is a cheaper alternative to getting that console feeling and gaining a whole new gaming experience from your phone. In this review, I use the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II and that phone is built for gaming. It was obviously gonna be an exceptional experience for me and 
And if I couldn't afford a mobile gaming console, like the Switch Lite for instance, this would be a great little gadget to own. What do you guys think? Do you love the idea or hate it and why? Let us know down in the comments there and don't forget those three key things. Sub, ring that bell, check out our merch. We are here at Kit Guru and we will absolutely love you for doing that. I'm Christina, see you next time.